just, just kind of what we figured. I mean, we, we knew it was going to be a dog fight. I mean, no question. I mean, everybody thought going to come in here and just, you know, show up and win. Doesn't happen. A good football team. Matt Davis is a great player. Coach Morris is about as well schemed as any, you know, coach that that you could have to open up with in a, in a blind situation. I thought our defense adjusted and, and made some great adjustments as, as, the, as the game went on. I mean, I can't really remember. I think maybe they scored 21 in the first quarter and none the rest of the game. Might have, might have scored in the second. I'm not sure. What was it? 14 first. 14 in first, seven in the second. Yeah. And, and then offensively, you know, came out pretty hot um, and just kind of self-destructed. You know, that's what we got to be careful with. You know, had a couple of penalties. Made a couple of plays, you know, had a had a bobbled ball out of bounds that could have put us in good position. I think we we're up by seven there in the second, maybe fourteen. Uh, but you know, just got to win. Like I was telling the coaches, I mean, we get out of here twelve to nine tonight. I'm happy. You know, we get out of here three to two. I'm happy. It's tough to win. It's tough to win when people want to beat you. People like to beat us. Art, what about the resilience? Try to beat us. Sorry. What about the resiliency you guys showed? 28-21, then you scored four touchdowns and just kind of blew the game open. Yeah, I mean, we just we felt like if we could get away from them a little bit, Tim, that you know we would be in decent shape. You know, we, you know, I just I just think you know it's like I said, we got money in the bank with these guys. You know, we've been through a lot with them. We played 26 games in two years. We've won 22 of them. We've lost some that we shouldn't have lost. You know, no question. Uh, we got to ride a little bit of a wrong uh, today from the Cotton Bowl eight months ago. So now, you know, maybe the Chick-fil-A sandwich will taste good. I don't know. I hadn't eaten it yet. But, uh, you know, so we got a little bit of a decent feeling for a little bit. But, I mean, like I said, our guys, I mean, you know, when you've won them, as many games as we've won, you know, when things go bad, and, and they had all the momentum in the second quarter, I mean, you could feel it. Uh, you just hang on. You know, you hang on and, and you keep fighting and try to make plays. And I thought our guys did a great job with just, you know, staying the course. And I thought Seth was uh, phenomenal from for a first start. Or how much of the, uh, the, the defensive struggles in the first quarter do you feel like was you guys not sort of you know, either not executing or not understanding what to expect? I think just, you know, the unknown of, uh, you know, not having any tape to really go on these guys. You know, I mean, you can watch tape from uh, Clemson. You know, you can watch tape from Tulsa and, and you know, get a feel. But personnel is always different. You know, and, and everybody kind of does their scheme of personnel. So we knew Davis would be heavy in the offense because he's good. You know, I mean, he's a good, good player. So we knew he'd be a run pass guy. And I, I thought he made some exceptional plays to, to keep their chains going, you know, two or three times going in critical situations. So <clears throat> he's going to continue to do that. I mean, he had 186 yards rushing against Tulsa last year late and about 190, I think, against UConn on the last game of the year when they won. I mean, that's a lot of yards. We didn't have a 190 yard rush or not, I don't think. So, I mean, that, that's, a, that's a lot of yards. He's good. Art, can you talk about the big plays Seth kept coming up with? Yeah, I wish that last one would have counted, you know, because he, he can really run. You know, I hate that that, uh, that got called back. But um, I, I thought he played really well. He had a couple balls in the middle there that, you know, were a little suspect. You know, he's, he's got a lot of confidence. But, I, uh, you know, I thought he really had the ball on the money. I don't know what his stats were. I guess I could look at them. But uh, if I was guessing – you know, I'm going to guess how many times he threw it. And I can tell you how many he completed. Close. How many? 30. I'm going to say he completed 24 out of 30. 15. 15. Uh, well, how many, how many touchdowns? Five. Five. We'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, you know, that ain't bad. Uh, you know, he's, he's just good. He's a good player. I'm a little surprised there were that many incompletions. But, um, you know, that's, that's not what I have to work on. I mean, it's the first time guys ever walked out and started a game in, in an environment like that. You know, I mean, he started last year at home against Northwestern State. Uh, but this was a tough environment. We knew it was going to be. Uh, Art, I'm without, sorry. Sorry, without having uh, seen the film yet, I mean, just what were some of the things that stood out in terms of things that you want to work on to be corrected? Uh, you know, I mean, first game, you always worry about penalties. We had some penalties that hurt us. They had a couple, too, that, that hurt them in the drive. Uh, and then I, I think just a little uh, – you know, consistency or continuity of a feeling of we can do this when we need to do it. Second four, we can get five. You know, we didn't really have that feel tonight. We were, we were kind of searching a little bit with our run game, um, you know, on the personnel issues in the run game. They, they did a good job defensively. I mean, they forced us to do some things throwing the football where we normally we probably wouldn't have. Uh, but that that's probably the only thing. Defensively, 
you know, it's, it's all about assignment uh, on defense. And, um, you know, we got, anytime you play a scramble quarterback, you know, you can have some things that break down. And, and he, he made, like I said, he made some plays with his feet. All right, obviously you have to execute and do what you did during the tail end with four touchdowns to open things up. But do you feel like the tenor of the game changed at all when Davis went down to the one series? Did that change things for them? You know, Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think we're up 14 at the time. I think it's 42, uh, maybe. Well, I was 28, 21. 30, I could be wrong. 35, 21. Somebody checked on that. I think I'm right. Um, somebody, somebody figured it out. I'm right. It was not well. No, I, 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 I appreciate you, Mustang blood enthusiast. But it, you know, it was. Uh, I'm, pretty, I'm pretty sure it's 14 point game at the time. Yeah, but you know, he was out one series. Yeah, correct me if I'm on there, but you know, the other guy came in. The other guy's good. You know, he's used to Lamar quarterback's a good football player. You know, so it really into in tonight's game, we felt like going in all the way through it's gonna be about death. You know, this game was gonna be about death because it was we knew it was gonna be hot. We knew we were gonna tempo, they were gonna tempo, so it, it's all about death. So um, you know, he cramped up just like X cramped up, you know, we had a couple others cramp up, you know. So it's it was a situation of where yeah, it makes a difference because he was the best player they got. Yes, sir. To answer your question, it made a big difference. For the record, I'm from New York. <laughs> You're what? I'm from New York. Oh, okay. <laughs> we got time for two more well, questions welcome, for Coach. Welcome yeah. to the Heat. Hey, Lauren, how much did you guys miss Sean and uh, Orion out there tonight? You know, from a, a leadership standpoint, a bunch, no question. And in a playmaking standpoint, I really think Sean would have been very disruptive, you know, on their backfield, which he can do. And then, uh, you know, you're talking about two all Big 12 players, you know, so. Uh, so it's it's encouraging to you know see guys rally and play together and play for each other and and come out with a win and uh, you know from that standpoint of it I'm I'm happy that uh, those other guys got to play and played well and I'm glad that they're going to be back next week and represent Baylor. Art, did you feel like the D line dominated particularly there in the second half? In the second half, That's yeah, right. yeah. I mean, we, I think we did get some good push, missed a few tackles, but I, we were in the backfield a bunch and that's really what caused Matt to scramble so much. Uh, but yeah, I thought I really thought that. Uh, they exerted themselves pretty well. Pretty physical game, honestly, the first game of the year. Stats of Taylor Young? Do you have the stats? You know, I'm not really sure. Um, you know, of course, they think it's a carbon issue. Not sure how how serious. I don't I don't think it's a break. But, uh, you know, they, they, they said the x-ray wasn't real clean, so they're going to do, do a little more later. He's, he's a great football player. Uh, Avion came in and did a great job. But Taylor's, he's a catalyst, you know, and, and you got to have those guys. Mm -hmm. How would you assess the tonight?